Let's discuss about the visualization of quantitative data. We'd like to discuss what kind of graphs are available to visualize categorical data. You know, the categorical data is some kind of nickname of qualitative data. As you know, categorical data imply data of a variable on finite possible value. How many possible value? We don't know, but typically it is less than 10. In case of East, we plot graph less than 9 category. In order to use East, you need to know I mean, these two type of data, we already discussed in chapter one, the basic operation. Well, we call, suppose you have a data on gender, then you may write down, well, male, male, female, male, etc. If you write down on the sheet like this, we call this is raw data. Somehow, if you count number of male, number of female, like this, we call it is a summarized data of this raw data. Typically, well, the Excel, they allow only this kind of summary data. And then statistical package does not allow to plot this one, but instead, enables both raw data and the summary data, we can draw it. Well, you should better keep in mind that there are roughly four kind of graph. We call bar chart, pie chart, end graph, and line graph to visualize categorical data. Here's the example of bar chart. I think you are familiar with this one. Okay. If there is a category, we divide x-axis into several pieces, maybe equal lengths. Then we use height as the frequency. Or we'd like to just check the frequency of each category. We can visualize well, therefore we can have a I mean, we can easily compare several categories. That's the purpose of this bar graph. But there are so many variations of bar chart. I think uh, everyday newspaper, they generate some kind of bar graph with a combination of other graph. Well, in case of East, we provide uh, the five different cases. Well, you will see that later. In case of there's a group, there's a more variation. Another graph is pie chart. It is commonly used. I mean, we divide the pie with the pieces. It looks like a pie. But it represents some each category. We divide the this 360 of a pi circle depending on their frequency. Okay. We divide this 360 by their frequencies, then we can have a, like a nice pizza like that. We consider it's pi. Well, there are several variations. Maybe they automatically plot the largest frequency at the top, this is 12 noon, is uh, counterclockwise, they draw sometimes in this manner, but it depends on some software. Some software start from 3 o'clock. Okay? Well, in case of East, this is the example of East, it start from noon and draw some pieces one by one. Okay, by decreasing order. Sometimes they pull out this circle 
when they make it nice, in that case, they call it donut crab. Do you like a donut? Another type is, it is similar to the, the pie chart. Band graph, does it look like a band? I mean, it is a rectangle. They divide all rectangle into pieces depending on each category frequency. We call this is a band graph. It look like a beautiful band, a colorful band. Okay. It is similar, but in case of ESTA, you may arrange by the frequency, the largest frequency at the left, or the next one, and so on. But since we already have uh, the pie chart, it is arranged in order. Well, in case of East Hell, I mean, we didn't uh, sorted them. Okay. Well, their occurrence from the first one, first category, we just uh, draw it. Another graph which is used to, to plot the categorical data is line graph. A line graph is, well, the x-axis is the same thing. It's similar to bar chart, but rather than bar, if you prefer some kind of line, we connect the middle of, top middle of the bar with a line, and that is the line graph. But this kind of line graph, if you consider this x-axis is uh, some kind of time value, well, we consider some kind of trend observations. Usually some data which depend on time, we'd like to plot as a line graph. Okay. Do you remember? There are four kinds of uh, the graphs which can be used to draw the categorical data. One is a bar chart, second one is pie chart, third one is band graph, fourth one is line graph.